entering the ring. Those combined weigh of 460 pounds, Rudy Dragonman and his partner, Rocky Rodman. One of the toughest tag team combinations in the history of the sport, the Samoans getting set to enter the ring now. Going up against Rudy Diamond and his partner, these Samoans are double devastating in the ring, dangerous at all times, big, powerful men. And they have a style that is theirs and theirs alone. Totally unique in wrestling and uh, it has proven to be absolutely devastating to any and all opponents that they've faced. All right, one fall, 10 minute time limit now. Let's watch the Samoans. And they are almost casual in their approach. And this has to be unnerving to their opponents when uh, two men can look so cool, so calm, and so relaxed. And they know in just a moment or two it's going to be a one on one combative situation. And so. The Samoan sizing up the situation now. Get set. Began to circle there in the center of the ring. Once again, we lock up collar and elbow very quickly. The Samoan pulls him back into the uh, ropes, catches him, and another chop into the throat that uh, drops his man. And now, the Samoan wasting no time and uh, not a joke. He's on either side of the throat. Another chop into the chest. And another chop that pops him in. Uh, he would be well to tag up with his partner, Ruby Diamond. Brings him up a little body slam. Brother, that'll jar those 26 vertebrae. The Samoan going to a pressure point now on the uh, side of the neck itself. And that can send a lot of pain coursing through the body. And that's one thing about the Samoans. They're well versed on the 26 pressure points. One caught him in the midsection, but had little or no effect. And that punch just didn't have authority, but the Samoans did. The Samoan catches him again. Tag is made. Rudy Diamond moves into the squared circle and uh, all right, using that speed and that agility to move away from the Samoan and he realizes he's not going to outpower him. All right, taking him on a frontal attack. Now let's see uh, exactly what happens here. All right, good clean break. Steps back, locks up, collar and elbow once again. Back up against the ring ropes. Now watch the Samoan has good block by Diamond and he fires back to the hard right hand. Samoan trying to shake that one off, clear up some cobwebs. And so the Samoan may be looking at Diamond with some newfound respect. Brings him back into his own corner and they very quickly double team on him. And again, using those pressure points. And this obviously comes from their uh, many years of touring throughout the Pacific into the Orient. And uh, they've been able to pick up a lot of the uh, oriental uh, approaches to the sport of wrestling. Knowing the nerve points and the pressure points, they double team very quickly on Diamond. Catch him coming off the ropes. And the Samoans have things pretty well under control at this point in time in this Australian tag team event. And the crowd obviously becoming increasingly unhappy about the situation. Diamond finds himself uh, in rather dire straits as the Samoans continue to move very confidently against this team. Diamond trying to figure an escape, trying to uh, block himself from uh, further pain. And again, the referee warning him about uh, getting uh, too close into the throat area. The tag is made once again. And Diamond, and they're going to double team on him. Catch it. Powerful thrust into the chest. 
Diamond driven back to the canvas, and he's had a lot of wind taken out of his sails. Another massive forearm across the base of the skull, another one across the back of the neck. And it's Diamond firing back with a shoulder smash that had little or no effect on the Samoan. Samoan caught him with a hard, ripping right hand coming off the ropes, and a headbutt that has Diamond in a whole heap of trouble, if you will. A count of three, a count of three, and the Samoans win with relative ease uh, over this combination. And so the Samoans continue their unbeaten ways here on uh, Championship Wrestling.